Hi there, this is Stacy Reed with Butterscotch.com bringing you another episode of the Sweet Stuff Web Watch. This week we're talking mashups, and not the stuff of potatoes or old 70s sitcoms. We're talking about ways to find news headlines, music recommendations, and much more using websites that mash up data from two or more external sources. One great example would be Slashdig, a mashup of two popular news portals, Slashdot and Dig. On the left, you'll find the headlines and brief descriptions of news stories published on Slashdot, and on the right, you'll find popular digs. Of course, you can always switch it around, too, if you like. Now, I mentioned this first one so I can lead into the next, which is similar in that it collects news headlines from popular sites, but as you can see, its specialty lies in offering headlines and links to multiple places. Welcome to Original Signal, an RSS feed aggregator which provides a hub for seekers of information from web and technology to world, business, and entertainment news. This mashup can also be accessed on your mobile, and like the previous site, the order of the content can be customized to your preferences. Now, there are a lot of mashups out there that make use of data provided by sites like Twitter and eBay, and there are a great many that use the Google Maps API. That stands for Application Programming Interface. In this instance, it is Google Maps Interface which has been programmed to interact with information gathered from Craigslist. This mashup allows you to search Craigslist for housing, whether you want to rent, sublet, or buy, and Google Maps will mark their locations and provide directions if needed. This is an incredibly easy way to hunt for your next pad. Now here's another example of a mashup using Google Maps API. Woozer combines that application interface with worldwide weather forecast information. But more than that, they provide a customizable format to see temperature, rain, humidity, and wind forecasts, the moon phase, and links to local pollen reports and even news about rush hour traffic. And finally, we come to Pandora FM, a mashup for all you music lovers out there. Now this site mashes Pandora and Last FM, so what you're listening to on Pandora gets submitted to your Last FM profile too. Log into your Last FM account here, and then you'll be ported to what looks like Pandora's main page. But here at the top and down at the bottom, you'll see where Last FM comes into play. Well, you'll also need to sign into Pandora up here, but I've already done so, so you can see how it works. There's nothing to install, just sit back and enjoy the tunes. Then, as you're listening to Pandora's recommendations, you can tell Last.fm to add any particular song to your favorites, you can indicate that you love the song, you can ban the song, and so forth. And of course, all this will show up over at your Last.fm page as well. We'll be talking more about mashups in future episodes of WebWatch, but these are just a few great examples that are sure to prove themselves useful if you just give the links in the show notes a click. This is Stacy Reed signing out. For more sweet stuff, visit Butterscotch.com.